If you are into unimaginative, boring, dumb, horribly acted, terribly written, ridiculously concepted, genre-destroying, insomnia-curing, ADA-creating, nausea-inducing, laugh-producing, bowel-moving, rust-making, libido-crushing, appetite-killing, fly-attractive, piles of steaming crap, then old is the movie for you. Remember how M. Night Shyamalan used to be one of the hottest movie directors on the planet? That choking reveal of the sixth sense stunning the world for about seven seconds. Unbreakable with its unique story bringing superheroes into the real world. Or signs. Managing to scare the crap out of everyone with blurred footage of an alien slowly walking. Well, what the fuck happened to that director? What the fuck happened? Hey! The movie Split gave the impression that the once powerful knight was ready for his encore, his retort to his more recent failures. Well, I guess we were all made fools of then. Old is about a group of people on a beach who start aging pretty quick. Approximately two to three years every hour. And that's it. That's the fucking movie. There is no reason why this movie should have been made outside of the highly anticipated iconic M. Night Shyamalan twists that have become more the reason people watch his movie these days. And oh boy, was this one a stinker. The cast consisted of the girl who liked to play hide and seek in Jojo Rabbit, the boy who likes lewds in Hereditary, the asshole from every movie that is in, the other, other, other girl from Mad Max Fury Road, these two, whoever the fuck they are, and my favourite. This delightful male was possibly the only rational minded person in the whole movie whose name is, and I am not joking here, mid sized sedan. Which leads me to announce my new name, Four Wheel Drive. It's understandable that when you have a fantasy movie, you can go balls to the wall crazy, but I feel like they might have taken it a tad too far by having a five and a six year old have a baby together. Oh no, God! And if you feel differently about that, then you need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. I'm no writer, but when you establish rules in a movie, you have to stick to them. They managed to cut a tumour the size of a football out of someone with a pocket knife. There was no repercussions for that whatsoever, and they were on a beach with wind blowing. But when someone got scratched with a rusty knife, just because he's the bad guy, the plot needed him to die suddenly. As previously said, what happened to M. Night Shyamalan? The guy's doing projects these days that just aren't working, they're conceptually lacking, and production-wise, he's just stagnated. And I can only assume that he's riding on the coattails of his former success, and sad to say that he's quite simply just dried up on ideas. So when would I recommend that you watch this movie? When you literally have nothing else to do.